Next, tonight we remember one of Arizona's bravest, World War II veteran, Navy veteran Jack Holder, who was 101 when he passed. He spent his last year speaking to groups and students all around the valley about his experiences during the war, including the attack on Pearl Harbor. We were fortunate enough to speak with him several times over the years. I see devastation then that I'll never forget. The horror was seeing my shipmates jumping off the ships into the water. It was covered with oil and on fire. We dropped the first bomb on the fan tail. He didn't know it at the time, but Jack Holder was living through hell and history at the same time. He was just 19, serving as a flight engineer. When the bombs started raining down on Pearl Harbor, on that fateful morning of December 7th, 1941. What I remember most vividly is I said, God, please don't let me die in this ditch. He's now made it for 101 years and spent the last 20 of those sharing his story to those who wanted to hear what war is really like. He's a historian on top of that, you know, showing us what really happened and what we need to be thankful for. All right, let's get you flying. Not everyone gets to turn 100, but when Jack did, Tony Anger, president of the group, grounded no more, took his friend up on his plane, which is aptly named Amazing Grace. He was a good guy, you know, he was a, a believer, somebody that, you know, it was good to be around. He made you feel good. And although some things fade with age, Jack's humor never did. How old do you feel? Uh, 39. <laughs> Jack Holder will be missed by many, but his bravery and experience will live on for future generations. And never forget that they live in the greatest country in the world. It's not always right, but it's the greatest country in the world. Jack Holder even wrote a book about his experiences, and we want to say thank you for your service to our country.